Okay, um, in this video, I want to talk about recent uh, the recent recall of uh, some Nissan Altima hood latches uh, that were manufactured between 2012 and 2014, which will affect a lot of the uh, the 2015 Nissan Altima models. Um, this just happened here, March of 2014. Uh, I read this article here. It says Nissan expands North American hood latch recall to 878,000 Altima sedans. Uh, and specifically, they were manufactured between March the 6th of 2012 to December the 31st of 2014. Now, if you want to find out if your specific Ultima is part of this, um, you can just go to Google and type in um, Nissan uh, Recall. It'll be one of the first ones that pops up. Um, or just go to you know Nissan's official site, Nis NissanUSA.com. And what you, what you do is you have a place where you can go to recalls and then plug in your VIN number. Uh, you can get your VIN number um, on the paperwork or you can just go to the windshield and it's right below the windshield on the driver's side in a little glass box there you'll see it to the right of the uh, the wipers. Uh, and that's what I did, I plugged in my VIN number and as you can see here I have a 2014 Nissan Altima S series um, and it says hood latch March the 2nd 2015 and the only thing it does is when you go to details, it'll just tell you to contact your, your dealer. Um, what I did was is, um, I emailed my dealer. Uh, I did it today. I haven't haven't heard anything back yet. I'm sure I will. But um, I'd recommend you do it in writing or you know through email. That way, when they respond to you, you know you have you have that for your paperwork and you have it on file. Uh, don't do it by phone because um, you know. Uh, it depends on the dealership, but you know you want to make sure you have something like that on writing, just in case a year from now an accident does happen. You know you can you can say, hey, well this is what this is what I was told to do. Um, from what I understand, there's no fix right now, um, and that's as of March of 2014. I've read online where um, uh, you you can like continue to lube the safety latch. Um, what happens is, is when it gets old, you know, when it gets dirty, it'll stop functioning for whatever reason, or some of them will. And then it could, if your hood is not completely shut, um, it will. If it's the, the safety latch might not work, and, it, and the, the hood could pop up. And there's been several incidents, incidences where uh, you know, 2013 models, 2000. 14 models have, have flown up at high speeds and done damage to the hood and a few cases where it's even broke the windshield there have been no you know injuries or fatalities or anything like that but it's a very major concern and a very major issue because as you can imagine if your hood just flies open um, it could it could cause uh, I mean it could cause a lot of damage and, and, and you know accidents um, from what I've read of what's happening, um, here shows a picture inside your car where you can, um, you know, put gas in your car, there's a lever for that, and then of course this is the one with the hood. What ha What's happening is, is people are accidentally, when they're filling up their tank, they'll accidentally push this instead, or they'll push them both, at, they'll pull them both up at the same time. What's happening is then it's it's your main latch is is of course um, uh, turned off at that time where it's popped up, and the only thing that's securing your your hood to the car is the safety latch, and that's the problem. Um, so one of my recommendations is to be very very careful whenever you fuel your car to to look on there and make sure you're you're pulling the right lever. Um, I'm not telling you that that's a fix, but it's a, um, it's a, um, it's something that you can do until you until they get this thing remedied. Um, and I I'll show you my Nissan my Nissan Ultima here. And like I said, I have a I have a 2014.
okay, what it is is the older models, the one before, you know, 2012 and before, would have the um, would have the hood have the hood lever here, would have it down here. So what's happened is is with the new, these newer models, they've put it side by side with the gas. And so, you know, you're going to the pump and you're going to change your gas and you accidentally hit that instead. And then you're and then then you pull that. All right, so as you can see here, that's the safety latch. And from what I'm understanding, this thing, when it gets dirty, could actually stop functioning. So. Keep an eye on that. Make sure that that's functioning, lubed up, um, and make sure that you um, don't accidentally open your hood up while you're full, full in your tank, and then contact your dealership.